From fired to world renowned, the remarkable journey of Lee Iacocca. Hello and welcome to our channel. Today, we'll be talking about the incredible career of Lee Iacocca and the comeback of Chrysler. First, let's take a look at Iacocca's early career. He began his career at Ford Motor Company in the 1960s and quickly rose through the ranks to become the president of the company in the 1970s. However, after 32 successful years at Ford, Iacocca was fired due to conflicts with Chairman Henry Ford II. This came as a shock to Iacocca, who was hurting and disappointed that none of his former colleagues reached out to him for support. But Iacocca didn't let this setback hold him back. In 1979, he became the president of bankrupt Chrysler and set to work on turning the company around. Over the next decade, Iacocca implemented budget cuts, layoffs, and a hard-sell advertising campaign to bring Chrysler back from the brink of bankruptcy. He also secured a government loan guarantee, which helped to stabilize the company's finances. The efforts paid off, and Chrysler experienced one of the greatest comebacks in U.S. corporate history. In the 1990s, the company was once again profitable and had a strong presence in the automotive market. In 2005, Iacocca came out of retirement to appear in Chrysler advertisements, reprising the slogan, if you can find a better car, buy it. This slogan had been used in Chrysler ads in the 1980s and had become closely associated with Iacocca's leadership of the company. Iacocca's comeback story is truly inspiring and shows that with hard work and determination, anything is possible. He took a struggling company and turned it into a successful, profitable business. His leadership and innovation will be remembered for years to come. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to our channel for more business and leadership content. Until next time. Thanks for watching.